What's up guys? I've got the best post-divorce hack ever for you. So check it out. You're gonna love this. So post-breakup, post-divorce, you're trying to figure shit out. You're probably not doing so hot. Here's what you do. One, you need to start finding new people to be around, new community, new friends, what have you. You need to start taking better care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. Here's what you do. Find yourself a yoga class. Find yourself a yoga community. Now, I've done quite a bit of yoga over the years for a couple of different reasons. I can tell you that not all yoga facilities are the same. Not all yoga classes are the same. You may not get it right on your first go. So don't be afraid to try more than one yoga studio. I know being in the position of the, the strain of a breakup, you probably are a little down on your luck, a little down on confidence. Find yourself a yoga class. It doesn't matter if you've never done yoga before or if you've done it before. It doesn't matter if you're limber or you're not flexible at all. None of that matters. You're gonna benefit for a number of reasons, no matter what end of the spectrum you are on that scale. And here's why. So first off, you need to get out of the house, right? You've probably been sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. This gets you moving. Next off, you're needing physical activity. You're needing to exercise. You're needing to you know, release some endorphins, burn off some energy, probably unless you're going to the gym. Again, that doesn't exclude you from finding a yoga class. You're needing to be around people, probably needing to find a new community. Getting over a divorce or a breakup, your community probably was very much intertwined with your act. This gives you an opportunity to meet some new people. It's just important for you to have a community while you're trying to heal and get back on your feet and feel better. It's also healthy for the state of mind and being to be around attractive women. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There are attractive women in yoga classes. Uh, you know, I've, I've been in yoga classes, so you know, this may be for the, the guys that aren't necessarily uh, very flexible or what have you. They're, maybe they're not gonna be the best in yoga. There are times in yoga classes I feel like I'm back in seventh grade football, calisthenics, just trying to keep up with the group and you're watching the guy next to you do more push-ups or, or having an easier time, whatever. You're definitely gonna be in this class and you're gonna look over and you're gonna be like, I can't even come close to doing what this person's doing. Or it's going to, I'm gonna break in two trying to do what they're doing. None of that really matters. Nobody really cares what you're capable of. And the truth is, it's going to be healthy no matter what you're capable of for a number of reasons. So let me go over some of the physical health benefits. I first got into yoga back when I was 23 years old. I was coming out of college and I recently turned professional uh, in golf. And I know this may sound a little bit strange, but I lifted weights quite a bit. It's not so weird anymore, but back in the day, I lifted heavy. And my swing coach said, hey, you're losing flexibility. Don't wanna stop you from doing what you're doing, but you, you need to maintain the flexibility. So I thought, I'll just jump in this yoga class that is basically on, on my way out of the gym. And I hopped right in. And I'll tell you what, I sweat more in that yoga class than I did in the hour I was working out. I, I thought I was just going in there to get flexible. Little did I know the many benefits of doing yoga. First off, there's a strength component. I'm in there pushing around heavy weights in the gym, lifting heavy stuff, and thought, well, I mean, yoga's not gonna make me stronger. <sighs> it's a different type of strength. There's flexibility, which is good for your aging, and as you get older, having flexibility is extremely important to your longevity and health. But then there were some things I wasn't expecting, and that is my posture and how important that was and how much it improved my posture, my balance. Now, there were benefits for me in my golf game with balance, but just overall, you are less injury prone as you're getting older, no matter how old you are. And then the unexpected benefit I got that really helped me back in the days when I used to play competitive golf was in yoga class, you are, well, in a good yoga class, I was taught the importance of breathing. And 
and you know you're doing something that's strenuous and hard and difficult and your mind wants to go to places and and give up and quit and complain and you're taught to breathe and quiet your mind during whatever you're doing so really it's a it's a moving meditation and it's a practice in breathing and what I found was I wasn't conscious of this but I found myself on the golf course in competitive stressful environments and without even consciously doing it I was using this breathing techniques and I was calm and I was poised and it was like this benefit that I didn't even see coming so physically and mentally there are benefits to doing these yoga classes but also being around healthy health conscious human beings not to mention the benefits of being around attractive women um, I've spent time later in life being around yoga communities and there are no shortage of women in these communities obviously but there's also a lot of women that are also going through divorce and available which you know doesn't hurt to know those at this point in your process right and even if you're not in that space of wanting to meet a romantic interest not saying you have to be or should be I find I'm inspired in my working out in my taking care of myself when I'm around attractive people when I'm around fit people you know it's I've been in these yoga classes and they're inspiring it's inspiring to, to see what you're gonna see in these yoga classes again you want to find a class that has the types of things you're looking for. One, a good instructor who you enjoy going to the classes. You want to find a environment that you enjoy being in. I'd also suggest taking this one step further and going to a yoga festival. And just, you know, it's a way to sample different classes. It's a way to meet a community of people. And the community is actually great. They're really accepting, uh, you know, it's just open-minded folks. You're not gonna find a lot of judgment based on, you know, the fact you might be going through a divorce. I would highly recommend finding yourself a yoga community because to me, it is the number one divorce slash breakup hack for men. Guys, if you made it this long into this video, I appreciate you sticking around. If you would, go ahead and hit that like button since I'm sure you probably got some value from this. I would love to hear from you. Go ahead and comment below. I'm the one that responds to all the comments. So would love to hear how you're doing. Any ideas, thoughts, suggestions, I, let me have them. If you didn't pick up on it, I miyagi would you in this video, led with yoga pants, but ultimately I've given you things that'll help you get over this divorce faster. I'm getting get you off the couch, get you around healthy people, healthy habits, introduce meditation. I hope you take something from it. I hope you check it out. Again, let me know how it's going and we'll catch you next time.